What's going on, guys? So Mike Tyson is pissed at Hulu. Basically, Hulu is making this uh, TV series called Mike on Hulu, and it's basically depicting Mike Tyson's life. I'm the most vicious, ruthless champion that's ever been. No one can match me. My style's impetuous. So last year, when Hulu announced they were making the limited TV series Mike, Mike Tyson himself commented on it, saying it's a tone-deaf cultural misappropriation of his life story. So the executive producer, Steven Rogers, recently said, we actually couldn't talk to him because his life rights were already taken. So that was never on the table. I will hope that if he watches it, that he would change his opinion. For me, as a writer, as a storyteller, I don't really like to be reliant on just one source. I really like to do the research and get all these different opinions and then put a story around all of that. I don't like to be beholden to just one person. He then goes on to say, and that was our intention as well to tell the story so that we're talking about more than just the events in his life, but rather placing the story and giving it context in the world and at the time. The executive producer, Karen Gist, added, we really wanted to make sure we were as broad as possible in the research and the dramatization of the events of his life, and we could make sure we were opening the doors to other conversations to be had around those things as well. Through his representative, Tyson told ET in response to Rogers' claims, it's a flat out lie. My life rights option expired years ago. Hulu nor any other supercilious team ever tried to engage in any negotiations with this black man. In their eyes, I'm still just an N-word on the auction block, ready to be sold for their profit without any regard for my worth or my family. Tyson continued by saying, they say this story is an exploration of a black man. It's more like an exploitation of a black man. Hulu thinks their tracks are covered by hiring black sacrificial lambs to play the part as front men for their backdoor robbery is appalling. I will always remember this blatant disregard of my dignity. Mike Tyson continued to uh, talk about this on Twitter. He recently put out a tweet saying, Hulu tried to desperately pay my brother Dana White millions without offering me a dollar to promote their slave master take over story about my life. He turned it down because he honors friendship and treating people with dignity. I'll never forget what he did for me. Just like I'll never forget what Hulu stole from me. He then goes on to say, Hulu stole my story. They're Goliath and I'm David. Heads will roll for this. Hey Hulu, I'm not an N-word you can sell on the auction block. Hashtag slavery is over. Hulu's motto of selling life rights of celebrities is egregiously greedy. Mauricio Solomon came out in a tweet and said, a fighter who is like a son of my father is Mike Tyson. I just spoke to him. I'm so upset to learn that his upcoming series were produced without his involvement and consent. The WBC boxing was misled by Hulu and we provided belts for production. Mike Tyson is a legend. Respect. Mike Tyson retweeted that saying someone should get fired from Hulu. Producers were lying to my friends saying I supported the unauthorized series about my life. Nate Diaz came out in support of Mike Tyson saying I'm with Mike, F you Hulu. And you know, this whole situation is just kind of messed up because I remember watching this trailer thinking how cool it was and saying, you know, I hope Mike Tyson is getting paid good for this. You know what I mean? And it turns out he's not getting paid at all. There's just no reason to not involve Mike Tyson on a series that has to do with Mike Tyson. You know, they got this executive producer or whatever his name was saying that he likes to get opinions from everybody, uh, multiple sources. But how about you get the opinion of Mike Tyson himself? You're an organization as big as Hulu. How do you not reach out and work with Mike Tyson himself? I'll tell you why. They didn't want to spend the money. And, you know, it's one of those things where, like Mike Tyson said, they're Goliath and he's David. But I think the biggest part where they messed up was when they got permission to use the belts and they kind of misled the WBC boxing and uh, kind of lied and said that Mike Tyson was cool with it. You know, it's just one of those things, man. It's not a good look on Hulu. I enjoy the shows, watch Family Guy and all types of other stuff on there. But, you know, I, when I seen this trailer, I just knew Mike Tyson was getting paid what he should be getting paid. He's going to be good. But it turns out they gypped him. I mean, they should have known this was coming. Like, I can't believe they actually went through with this. And everybody was like, OK, that's good to go without actually consulting Mike Tyson. It's just it's just beyond me, man.